Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Isha CEO Estates, aka the Millionaire Penthouse. I want to kind of break things down here today, boys. I think I need to make a video like this. And I'm not anywhere I want to be right now in terms of my love life. But I can tell you a thing or two about freaking girls, bro. I've been on this earth in a long time, 25 years. I know a thing or two about these females, bro. And I've experienced it from both angles. I've experienced it from the poor perspective and I experienced it from the rich perspective. And I'm telling you this right now, man. Every single time, if there was two options in front of a girl, right? If there was option A, the broke kid, let's say he's 21 years old, he has a Honda Civic, and he's driving around, he, he works at a freaking life insurance company, right? Earning $20 an hour in a commission. Or, she sees me. <laughs> Ish the CEO, multi-millionaire, Rolls Royce Ghost Series 2 parked downstairs, videographers, 500 balloons for freaking Valentine's Day, she gets 200 bouquets of flowers, she gets to swim in my pool, she's in the clouds, literally you can see the clouds from up here. I don't know if you can tell, we're on like the 50th floor. There's clouds up there. What option would you pick, bro? Let's pretend you were a girl. <laughs> what option would you pick? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that girls like and want, based off their genetics, someone that has more safety, right? They go to the strongest man, they go to the richest man. Back then it was the strongest one, right? The biggest man could protect her. Now the richest man could protect her because we're not freaking chasing lions and, and tigers anymore. We're civilized organization, like civilized humans, bro. Now with that being said, boys, I need to let you know one thing, bro. I'd say 85% of these girls are going to leave you. It's never your girl, it's your turn with that girl. If you have a girlfriend, for example, happy Valentine's Day for all the people that are trapped in the matrix, I'll tell you that right now. I have nine Valentine's Days today, by the way. Anyways, <laughs> another story. But let's say, close your eyes. The girl that you have right now, right? Think about her for a second. Close your eyes. Let's all, let's do it together. I'll close my eyes too. Is that the girl that I'm genuinely gonna marry? Me and you both know the answer to that question. It's definitely no, okay? Because some reason, you're just with her because of safety, security, relaxation, comfort, whatever the reason may be. Heck, maybe she might be even richer than you. She pays for your bills. But what I'm trying to say with this though, is that a lot of girls that are with boyfriends aren't going to be the people that you eventually inevitably marry. You know what I'm saying? So why be with them in the first place? That's the real question. You don't want to. I DM that girl right now, bro. I swear, I'll put a thousand dollars. Give me your girl's Instagram right now. I'll give you a legit check. I DM her tomorrow or today. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll send her a nice little picture. Me with these bouquet of flowers, all these balloons. Hey baby, happy Valentine's Day. I thought you were pretty cute. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to spend some time with you. Something like that, right? I send that DM. Your girl's answering that freaking DM. I am sorry, bro. She sees the verified badge. She sees the followers. She sees the lifestyle. She sees me spending $30,000 on a hotel on a weekend in Dubai. She sees the life she wants to get involved, okay? Even if she doesn't respond, she saw it regardless and she thought about the lifestyle. She visioned it and then she ignored it. Long story short, guys, why not just be the best option? The whole point of this video is to tell you guys to be the best option. I want you guys to be the best versions of yourselves. There's no reason for you to not be the best version. Why can't you be the best version? Why can't you go there and be Isha CEO? Why does Isha CEO have to be Isha CEO? Why can't you be Isha CEO, right? That's the whole point. Why not become successful? Why not be the richest guy she has ever dated or she will ever date? Look, when I date a girl, bro, or when I talk to a girl, whatever the case may be, when I go on a date, I smash a girl, she comes over, whatever, She's gonna remember the date that I smashed her, I went on a date with her, I hung out with her, I whatevered with her for the rest of her freaking life, bro. That's a guarantee. I know for a fact, unless you're freaking, maybe, I don't know, Kanye West, riding around private jet, maybe you're Elon Musk, Bill Gates, whatever, you know what I'm saying, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> maybe you have a little bit better life than me, but it's the same thing. Once you get to the top, it doesn't go higher than Rolls Royce. There's no like Rolls Royce, like, there's nothing better than the Rolls Royce. You have the Rolls Royce, right? You can't really get better than that. So when she gets picked up in the best option, the best car, the best life, the best living lifestyle, right? She's gonna be like, holy cow, my God, that was so amazing. What a night to remember. That's the thing you want to have girls affect you with, bro, is you wanna be the one option that she will never forget. And let's say, for instance, you're with a girl and, and she leaves you. You know how good that probably will feel? You freaking pop open your collar. I mean, you have the swag. You're sitting there, you have the swag, and you know she ain't gonna find a better option. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the life you wanna freaking live. I don't give a frick. I know, for example, if I DM a girl in her DMs, I'm the richest guy in her DMs. If I hang out with a girl, I'm the richest girl she ever hang out with. It's ego, yeah. She might not like you for the right reasons, 
I'm not sitting here and admitting that she's going to like me for the right reasons. She's just probably not going to like me because of my personality. <laughs> Think about it, guys. I wouldn't like me either. <laughs> but she might like me for the fun and the experience. And that's not a bad problem. A lot of guys have a freaking misconception and be like, oh, bro, you might smash that girl, but she's never going to freaking date you or she's never going to really like you because she just wants your money. I like her because her boobs are big. I like her because her butt's fat. Does that make me bad? No, bro. That's what humans do, bro. We're freaking genetically inclined to make sure that we like what we want. Women like security. Men like bodacious booties, bro. It's just simple as that. Now, having that being said, guys, follow me here while I take you outside to my penthouse. You know what I'm saying? Right, this is 400 balloons all scattered around. I have like a lot of girls coming tonight. And they all know each other. That's the funniest thing about me is that, you know, all my girlfriends, we're all in a relationship together. Point, that's one thing about having a freaking lot of money, guys, is you can just tell a girl, I, I got like four girlfriends, what's up? You want to be the fifth one? They'll literally be like, yeah, I'm down. You know what I'm saying? What's the next? When we're we meeting, you know what I'm saying? It feels freaking lit. But anyways, but what I really wanted to say is, guys, if you wanted to become successful, if you wanted to become rich, if you wanted to become a high value male, just do these three things, okay? Learn how to move with elegance, move with proper, move with power. Build yourself, build your discipline. Go to the gym, take care of your face, get a haircut, trim your beard. And the third one is start a business, okay? So your person, your avatar, your body, and your business. These are three things you need to do. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the most in shape type of dude. I'm going to the gym every single day and I'm trying to get better. But body, business, and avatar. If you can do those three things, you're on the freaking way to success, guys. Money is waiting for you, bro, okay? Go out there and freaking get it done. If you need help, if you want mentorship, if you want to learn from a brother that can actually show you the way, hit me up, dude. What's the hurt of just tapping in with me and clicking the button below and booking a call or just talking to me, right? There's no hurt in the game. So DM me if you need some mentorship. I personally got rich with the AI agency. So if you guys want to start an AI agency, I can show you how that works as well. I'll show you how to run it up, make $3,000 per month per client. You get 10, 15 clients, you're making a big amount of money, like 300, 400, $500,000 a year. At that point, you're instantly high value. You got to just work on the body and the avatar. Now having that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy freaking Valentine's Day to all the people out there, all the punks. And let's make some freaking moves, guys. 2024, let's make it happen. Let's go.